Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago and welcome back to Cooking with Nonna. I am cooking with my mama Angela today, so say hello everybody. Ciao a tutti! <laughs> Un saluto cordiale a tutti gli italiani! What about the American people? Tutti gli americani e tutti i buoni gustai del mondo. Yes, absolutely, mom. Eh. Why don't you tell everybody what you're going to cook today? Oh, my special lentil soup. My mom really does make the best lentil soup with mushrooms in the entire world. It's so, so good. And I know everybody's ah, going to love it. Let me tell you. I'm the queen of porcini <laughs> mushrooms. The queen. Because, ah, nothing is better than mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Okay. So I put them everywhere. She okay. Does. Uh, uh, what, what are the ingredients? Okay. Tell everybody Here the ingredients. Here we have onions, carrot, celery, rosemary, and of course, porcini mushrooms, and portobello mushrooms. And we add all these to the lentils. And then we put spinach at the end. At the end. And yes. don't forget about your secret ingredient, Mom. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I can't live without this box. I really love it. It's so precious. Every time I go to an Italian supermarket, uh, I have a lot in Brooklyn where I live. Honestly, I'm very lucky. She always makes me get porcini broth cubes. Oh, yeah. Now, you don't have to use these. You can totally use chicken broth cubes, or you can replace the water that we add with straight chicken broth, low-sodium chicken broth. You can even use beef broth, whatever you want to use, vegetable broth. I don't care. But this is how my mother uses it. Uh, this is how my mother does it, and this is her secret ingredient for that very special flavor oh, that yes. everybody that has her porcini and lentil soup is like, oh my God, what is that flavor? What did you do? And this is it. And uh, you know, I never told everybody, but now I'm telling the world. I'm getting rid of another secret, Rosella. Oh God. Pretty soon, <laughs> I'm gonna be left with no secrets. Man it's okay, nunch. Ma. I feel like you'll still find, you'll still have some left over. Oh yeah, I collect them. <laughs> uh, okay, Rosella, okay. let's start. Yeah. Yes, all right, Ma. Okay. Come, put, come around oh, here. Yes. Oil. Yeah. Sprinkle okay. this with oil. You get the oil. Yes. I'll turn the heat on for you. Yeah, you could turn it on. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. okay. Take now. Yeah. Onions? Onions. Onions first. First. Okay. First, yes. Because we have to saute all of the hard vegetables yes. first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, onions. Carrots. Carrots. Celery. And rosemary. I love the flavor of rosemary. So delicate. Like a perfume. And I, I like the smell. It's like a perfume. Like they a should perfume. make rosemary perfume. They should, Ma. Why yes. don't you make it? Yes. You never know. <laughs> So we just want to saute these until they're a little bit softer. So about seven to eight minutes, they should yes. start to soften up. And that rosemary really does flavor the oil. She knows what she's oh, talking yes. about. Oh, yes, absolutely. Makes a big <laughs> difference. And now, the start of the show. Porcini mushrooms. These are some dried porcini mushrooms that we soaked in some warm water for about 20 to 30 minutes, just until oh. they get nice and rehydrated. You can chop them. She always left them whole. And we're just gonna saute them real quick in the pan. So I'm just grabbing them out of the bowl like this because if there's any grit, I want it to have sunk to the bottom and I don't want to disturb it. Yeah. Mmm, the smell. Wonderful. I was probably the only like six-year-old that ate porcini mushrooms. Because yeah. my mom was obsessed with them. Oh, yes. I and she would throw them into everything. <sighs> Once I even brought them from Italy. Now, if you want to, that's illegal, Ma. Now, if you want to, you can also add this water to, the, to your soup. We don't usually, because we already have the broth cubes, you can add a little bit if you want. Just a little touch. Just make sure if you pour it, pour it really carefully. And don't get any grit in. Just a little bit, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Come on. Like two tablespoons. That's, a, that's enough. That's okay. enough. Yeah. Just a touch. Great. Mm. Delicioso. Que so, sabor. so good. I feel like eating it right now. 
but uh, you know. But you're gonna wait. No, right? no, no. We have to wait. <laughs> So you want to give those like one or two minutes, not too, too long, because you don't yeah. want to kill them or anything. No, no. Beautiful. Okay, now portobello mushrooms. She always mixes mushrooms, too. It's never one mushroom. It's like four oh, or five yes. different kinds. Yes. This, is, this only uses two, so she went light on this one. Yes. I'm going to add our, porto, our baby portobello mushrooms, sliced. And... We add a little bit of salt to them to draw out some of the water, some of the moisture. Yeah. And just keep stirring them around and they'll cook. Yeah. You know, it's, I believe that portobello mixed with porcini, they taste more like porcini than portobello at the end. Yeah, because they really absorb some yeah, good flavor. Yeah. Okay, now you can add the water. So we're going to add about 12 cups of water here. Yeah. Great. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. And now we can add the lentils. Yes. Finally, the lentils. You know, because the lentils, they cook so fast. Unbelievable. Yeah, about 20 to 30 minutes, just until they're tender, we're going to cook yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. And we yeah. rinse these lentils. Of course. They're clean. Always. Always. And now my mother's secret ingredient, the porcini broth cubes. Oh. They're amazing. This is just an extra pow of flavor. Yes. It's a brand new box, too. Oh, yeah. You're going to leave it in my house? <laughs> I can't take it with me? Absolutely. Absolutely not? They're not traveling to Brooklyn. <laughs> One and two. And two. Now, again, if you don't have these, you can't find them. Don't worry, just use yeah. chicken broth cubes, vegetable broth cubes, any other broth cubes, or again, replace the water that we added with chicken broth, little sodium chicken broth, anything that you want. Your favorite stock, homemade is great, love homemade. So now we're just gonna bring this to a boil, and then we're gonna lower the flame to like a medium low, and let it cook for about 25 to 30 minutes, just until the lentils are tender. Then we throw in our baby spinach, and then this is done. Done, yeah. Doesn't done. take a long time. How easy is it to make a big pot like this at the beginning of the week, and then you have it all week? Oh, absolutely. You feel rich. You, you, you feel like you always have something good waiting for you in the refrigerator. So when you get hungry, and you, need, you eat something healthy. Something so healthy yeah. and so delicious. I cannot wait to have a bowl of this. Yes. Okay, it's boiling. Okay, so now that this is boiling, we lower the heat yes. to medium, put the cover. Yeah. And we let it cook for 20 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes, just yeah. depending on, whether, on uh, how tender the lentils are. So in about 20 minutes, we'll take another peek, we'll taste it. They're done, beautiful. We'll add our spinach, and then we're going to eat. Of course. And you know what? I'm going to call my mom to be a judge. Okay, I, th I think she'll like it. I hope so. You know, look, she's a little fussy sometimes. Oh, no, you're not. Me? Ma quando mai? Mannaggia, ma miseria, mannaggia. Okay, ma, focus on the soup. Okay. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Ciao, a presto. Where are you going? I <laughs> You start don't there. leave, ma. I <laughs> devo stare là. Mm. So the lentils are done. They look good. Wow. And now we're ready for the spinach. Okay. We're just going to add yeah. all of our fresh baby spinach. Yes. This is the last part. You're just going to stir this in until it wilts. And it won't take long because the spinach, they cook fast. Ah, smells delicious. It really does. It smells oh, yeah. so me? porcini. Yeah, 
because of the porcini. Such an incredible porcini flavor in here. Oh, yes. And you know something? Grandma loves porcini, too. Oh, yeah, she does. Who doesn't love porcini mushrooms, man? Some some of my enemies uh, don't like. I don't know why. Your enemy? Yes. (laughs) I don't know. Oh, mother. Maybe because I like them. Who's dumb enough to be your enemy, man? Uh, They say I don't like them. Just, uh, you know. People, a lot of people, they like to contradict you, no matter what. Why don't you taste it and see if it needs any salt see, or See, they want to create wars, even with porcini. I don't know why. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Uh, Does it need anything? N- no. no. No? Are you sure? No, no. Unless okay. you really like salt, uh, you want to add more salt, but, uh, uh. you know. I go easy on the salt. Oh, this looks so good. So we yeah. just threw the spinach in, and it's already done. Yes. You don't, want, you know, it, you don't want it to cook too long, because then it no. kind of falls apart. Yeah, uh, you know, the spinach, they don't, you don't have to let them cook too long. Otherwise, they lose the flavor. I like them yeah. uh, almost raw. OK. Yeah, I think, I think it's done raw. I think it's done, too, yeah. Ma. Yeah. You want to call Grandma the judge? Yes, let's turn yeah. the flame off. Yes. Mommy! Mommy! Nana, we have a soup for you. Very good soup, mommy. You're going to like it, I hope. Mommy, don't embarrass me on the show. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why would she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, sometimes she goes, oh, I don't like it because you made it. we got to get some juice, man. Yes, she never yes. says that. Oh, I know. Good. Ah, mommy. Nice. What do you think? Yeah. Ma, I treat you well. You know, I make mm-hmm. you eat good I stuff because I right. want you to live forever. Mm-hmm. One for you. Okay. One for you. And we okay. got a taste. One, and two, with three. Mo- porcini yeah. party. Let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Mm. Be careful because it's hot. Delicious. Mm. Wow, that is good. Mm. Huh? So, so good. Yeah, really so good. good. So much flavor in here. Yes. Yes. Never taste the lentils. And, uh, you know, that. now that the lentils are a little creamy. Yeah, really oh, good. Oh, really. It really blends in. Mm-hmm. And right? the rosemary gives it such a nice woodsy yeah, flavor. Yeah, that exotic touch. You and you know that. what? This is even better the next day. Yes. You warm it up. Oh. I want to test it. Yeah? Uh, that's yeah. good for you, mommy. Spinach. No wonder you're in good health because you eat well, mommy. I know. Right? You yeah. don't need junk food, right, mom? Never. Yeah. Never. Never eat junk food. Except Never. when she eats donuts. <laughs> yeah, just a weakness for donuts. But, you know, but we can't crazy say donuts are junk food. You know. Very good. Yeah. I love it. Well, I am so mm-hmm. glad that my mom showed everyone how mm-hmm. to make this super easy and delicious uh, lentil soup with mushrooms and spinach. Well, and I gave up another secret. Another secret, Ma. I don't know. I, I think you have more. What up? Huh? You have more secrets. Ma, I didn't want to tell anybody how to make this, but today I, I told the whole world, Ma. It's okay. No it's good. okay? You no do good. good. Yeah. <laughs> you teach the young people that they got to cook. That's uh, right. Good. Yeah. And let me tell you. Don't you think people save a lot of money when they cook? Sure. Right? Sure. That's how you were able to save your money, right, Mom? Because you always <laughs> I cooked. Know. I know. You always said that to me. Man. All the people uh, that, that never cook, never they can buy your house. Uh, oh. That's Nona's number one yeah. advice. Yeah. So with that said, right. we're all going to say goodbye, right, Mom? Goodbye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Wow. Bye. <laughs>